cupcake. Cupcake. Right here. Ah, damn. You're really out cold. Makes sense. You've been running yourself ragged for the past few nights. Two fights for your life, barely any sleep, shitty road food, uh, not to mention babysitting me, which is a job and a half all on its own. Uh, I'd feel bad if this wasn't entirely all self-inflicted. Anyone could have told you that keeping a vampire on a leash is a terrible idea. Uh, it's weird seeing you like this. The last time you were this out of it around me was after the auction. And that wasn't exactly willing. This is. Huh. You're just sleeping soundly in front of a predator. Like I couldn't do anything I wanted to you while they were helpless to stop me. Hm. Nothing, huh? Vague threat not snapping you out of your doze there? Well, I can't exactly complain about your lack of self-preservation. I'm the one who told you to get some sleep, and you listening to a word I say is rare enough, not me kneecapping myself by berating you for it. Congrats. Uh, besides, I'm pretty sure there isn't a single hunter out there with a functioning survival instinct. No one in their right mind would find out monsters are real, and immediately decide to throw themselves at them. You're like the supernatural equivalent of a deer picking a fight with an oncoming semi. It's not going to end well, and you have no one to blame but yourself. I'd say it's a miracle you survived this long, but, I mean, let's be real here. I'm definitely the exact opposite of a miracle. Wonder what that makes us. I'm not your guardian angel, that's for sure. And you got me out of that hunter hellhole, so... Rescuing isn't entirely one-sided. We're not really enemies anymore, but if we were actually allies, you wouldn't constantly have to be on guard to keep me from stealing my stuff back and bailing on you. Ah, which, speaking of, where the fuck did you hide my shit? I feel like I've looked everywhere in here. Do you have secret compartments or something? Uh, am I gonna have to start tearing up the carpet? Uh, I hope not. This place could use a good vacuum in, and I don't want whatever's caked on the floor under my nails. Probably mud and vampire ash. Uh, you look so damn peaceful when you sleep. Almost makes me feel bad about wanting to take advantage of it. Almost. You're just lucky we're so close to dawn right now. Otherwise, I might be tempted to do something about how vulnerable and delicious you look. But we are, so... I'm gonna go charm a room out of whoever's working the desk. You'd probably prefer I actually pay for it, but you're the one who hid my credit cards, so, uh... It's technically your fault that I'm about to go frawl some poor, tired receptionist. Not like you're awake enough to argue anyway. You know what, Hunter? You take all the time you need to wake up. I'll come get you when I'm done, yeah? Yeah. This. I need this. I really wish I wasn't doing it this way. I usually try to at least let my meals keep their minds while I finish them off. Honest, it's just that these are unusual circumstances for me. It's been weeks since I've had a proper meal, and I need to make this quick. I don't know if I might get caught with my hand in the cookie jar. 
You get it, right? No hard feelings. Didn't think so. All right, tip your cute little head back for me. There's a good boy. Now, just hold still. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Ow! Cupcake! Ow! You can let go already! Fuck. Was that really necessary? Oh. God, please don't start in with a lecture right now. Isn't having my dinner yanked out from under me punishment enough? Okay, you can't prove I was going to kill him. Maybe I was planning a catch and release. That'd definitely be a lower profile. Whatever the fuck. Not having to hide a body. You can't object to that, right? A harmless little nibble. Yeah, no, I'm not turning him loose from the thrall yet. Well, for one thing, I really don't think we should be letting Pretty Boy over there listen to the specifics of this particular conversation. Experience has taught me that humans tend to get skittish when you talk about them like meat. Or pissed, in your case. A negative reaction either way. I mean, I also don't mind seeing Pretty Boy up against the wall like that. Ow! Shit, fine, okay! I swear, you were raised by fucking wolves, Cupcake. Ever heard of please and thank you? Hey there, sweetheart, change of plans. Sorry about that. You go back to your little desk and get back to work, alright? Great, good boy. Happy now? Well, that makes two of us. Fuck. I was this close. Really not in the mood right now, Hunter. If I'm not eating, I just want to go to bed. I mean it. I am not in the mood. We're in room 808. They got us a double. Don't read into it. Just didn't want you to notice me running hot after I ate. Any other night and I would definitely be getting you into my bed. Oh my god, what part of I don't want to talk about this right now isn't getting through to you? You can be mad at me all you want when we get up in the evening, but I'm tired. I'm hungry. And I'm feeling every inch the reanimated corpse I am. This is not the time to start an argument, Cupcake. I'm telling you that as a courtesy, since your sense of self-preservation is so thoroughly fucked. Ah, <sighs> I'm taking first shower. Can you uh, put up the curtains on your own? Great. Awesome. Fantastic. I didn't bring a change of clothes, did you? What? <laughs> Come on. You can't seriously be this petty. Uh, no, actually, wait, you definitely can. This is a hundred percent how petty you are, but come on. I can't go get them myself. This sky's already turning pink. I might have, uh, gotten distracted a bit with Pretty Boy. But he was harder to get my head around than usual, and that really slowed things down. <sighs> Fuck you. Didn't I just tell you this is a shit time to get into an argument with me? Because normally I find our banter amusing, entertaining, occasionally delightful. But I just had real food pulled away from me, and I'm a little bit cranky about it, thanks. So, the bullshit coming out of your mouth right now is registering less as a conversation and more as an inconsequential obstacle between me and your neck. <sighs> Those bags barely qualify as edible, Hunter. They take the edge off, but that's it. It's just me and a tasty little human and a ratty old tin can. And it has been taking some effort not to pop the top off there, okay? So yeah, I tried to have a cheat night. 
Sue me. Oh my god, I don't care about anyone else, okay? Do you really not understand that? Still, I do not give a single shit about human life. I look at you, and I see food. You do not matter to me at all. <sighs> I'm showering. Get the curtains up. Hunter. <sighs> of course. Can't even have five minutes to myself. Look, there's no one out here for me to hunt. Not in this weather. No need for you to play warden. And obviously we're not going anywhere until this clears up. So go back inside before you catch your death. I don't feel the cold, remember? And I can't get hypothermia. Or much else. That makes this whole thing at least 70% less dramatic on my end. You don't have that excuse, so... Shoo. So I think you would drop this a child. That, or the vampire hunting concussions are stacking up. It would explain a lot about your life choices. What do you even want, anyway? If you're waiting for me to apologize about Pretty Boy, it's not happening because I don't regret it. I do it again in a heartbeat. I'm not going to say I'm sorry when I'm not. It's called integrity, Hunter. I apply it erratically and inconsistently. <laughs> you know, it's a bitch to try to track prey in the rain. Trust me, I've taken more than a few swings at it. Like, uh... You remember that one fight at the stadium? I swear, I thought that was the night I was going to drain you. You dislocated your shoulder and done something to fuck up your leg. And it was only a matter of time before I caught up with you. And then it started pouring. Rain muddies the sands of humans until you have to... practically be on top of them to smell it. And the wind usually whisks away whatever's left. You're barely a yard away right now, and I can't catch your scent at all. There was no way I was going to sniff you out that night. Uh, though, trust me, I still tried. Almost got caught out past Unrise. I was up so late. Uh, that's why I came out here. I needed a break from the sensory onslaught. If any longer in there, and I was gonna snap and eat the couple across the hall. This is, uh... This is helping. It's just been... A lot. Being around you all the time. I went from being mostly isolated in that cell to having you right under my nose 24-7. Saying the adjustment's been rough is an understatement. Uh, not to mention I'm not exactly at my best right now. The bags make me feel sluggish. Cold. I don't feel the cold, but I can still feel cold, you know? I can feel not warm. The showers help, but it feels like the heat never gets further than the skin deep. Like my bones are cold. Like dead. Like I'm only half alive. I mean, my regular percentage is around 80% alive? 75 on a bad day. The torture basement was like uh, 4, so... That definitely wasn't fun. But this is neither. Uh, I'm not starving to death. I don't think. But I'm not really functional either. It's like some fucked up hell on earth version of purgatory. If I felt this all the time, I might actually agree with the whiny bastards who go on and on about vampirism being a curse. 
about us being soulless husks condemned to wander the earth until we atone for our sins, or whatever the fuck. I never really got that shit. I mean, how important could a soul really be if I could lose it and not even notice the difference? I could still talk and think and feel all that higher brain function stuff. Even if we take for granted that souls exist, if there's no functional difference between a being with a soul and one without one, then what even is a soul? <laughs> this metaphysical stuff's probably a bit above your pay grade, Hunter. <laughs> Not to mention depressing. Let's talk about something else. Uh, you watch any of the news before you came out? I guess a bunch of roads were flooded, and a couple of power lines down. That's why they want us to shelter in place. Best guess was that the uh, storm will pass by tomorrow, but I don't trust weathermen further than I can drink them, so... More or less. Anyway, it should give us a lot of time to plan the next leg of a trip, at least. Not sure how much good it'll do us, though. I've been trying to brainstorm ways we could ever avoid ever having to stop at another gas station, and so far, the only one I can think of is switching to an uh, electric car. Yeah, I didn't think you'd go for it. Back to the drawing board. I'm not really, uh, getting the same engagement from you as usual. With, uh, banter. Right. Still tired. Guess it's a good thing we're getting some downtime. You'll be back to your ordinary self soon. Are you sure it doesn't have anything to do with uh, what I... Holy shit. What? What? What do you mean, what? Hunter, look at yourself. You're, you're shivering. Fuck. I should have known you'd be too stubborn to just go back inside when you got cold. Come on. Pack it in. Turn your ass around. We're getting you warmed up. <sighs> Bathroom. Now. God, you're a mess. Start toweling off. I'll get you some dry clothes. What? Where's your bag? Of course you don't fold your clothes. Why am I even surprised? Pants. Pants. Okay. Got the pants. Find... What? Oh. Shit. Sorry. Coming right up. Here. Nice and dry. Yeah, yeah, I'm turning around. You act like I don't respect your boundaries. Okay, that was strictly in the pursuit of blood. This is completely different. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to see all the scars you've racked up and every soft, tender place I could sink in my fangs. But unblemished skin, just so I could mark it up. Close my mouth over your old battle wounds. Uh, did I have a point? Uh, I think I had a point. <coughs> anyway, uh, cupcake. Uh, anything you, you want to tell me? Well, I did tell you you'd catch your death uh, out there, but no, that's not what I was getting at. I found the card in your bag. Oh. Really? Because I'm looking at it right now. Happy 10th birthday. Only someone, for some unknown reason, has added an extra zero on there. Oh, and because this is a card for a 10-year-old, it's Batman themed. <coughs> this card is late because I was helping Batman fight a crime. Happy belated birthday. Uh-huh. No, oh, no, I totally believe you. That makes perfect sense. That's too bad. If this had been for me, I would have said you were sweet. 
Not that that's news. Would a bite for the belated birthday vampire be too much to ask? Ah, oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll leave off. But, uh, thanks. Really. With, uh, everything going on, I assumed you'd forgotten all about it. And it's not like we were the cards and well wishes type before this. I'm sorry. Well, it's not a lavish party with life or death Mario Kart, but I'll take it. It's like regular Mario Kart. You should play against a human. And if the human loses... <laughs> yeah, that's about the face I thought you'd make. At least it's a fun game. It's going to be your last. I could be a real bastard to make them play poker instead. Not a great game to play against an opponent who can hear your heartbeat. Speaking of dinner, I think the kitchen's only going to be open for another half hour or so. You should order some food before they close out. I can grab a bag later. Just got you dry. I'm not having you walk out into the rain again so soon. Well, of course, if you're okay with me going out to the car unattended. Yeah, that's what I thought. Call room service. I can at least wait until after you're done eating. And a uh, cupcake? Uh, never mind. It's nothing. Just, uh, I'm gonna go dry off. I can't get changed yet, but at least I can uh, not drip on everything. Going onto the balcony was a calculated decision, okay? I was on the verge of making some unapproved nutritional choices. Between getting shot with a dart and dealing with wet clothes for a while, there was no contest. Uh, by the way, you should uh, order something high in iron. <laughs> Your aim's getting worse, Hunter. Is it smaller than a car? Smaller than a bread box. <laughs> you know, a bread box. The box you put bread in? No. Now, I refuse to believe you've never seen one of those before. I may have been off solid foods for a century, but things can't have changed that much. It's like saying you've never seen a stove before. Well, you use it to... I mean, it keeps... <laughs> Look, the bread box is just as indispensable as any other kitchen appliance, okay? I don't need to know the point of it for that to be true. <sighs> Shut up. Just tell me if it's smaller than a microwave, I guess. Okay, smaller than a microwave. Mammal, non-domesticated. Is it a herbivore? No. Okay, so not a squirrel then. Well, I think those might eat grubs or something, which I guess would make them omnivores. I don't know. There's got to be a better way to narrow this down. Uh, oh, is it nocturnal? Wait. Ugh. Fucking hell, Hunter. Is it a goddamn bat? Uh, you think you're hilarious, don't you? I'm not playing this with you anymore. You've lost the right. We'll just have to go back to arguing about what channel to watch and trying to kill each other over the remote, like civilized people. I still say we could have kept watching that superhero movie. You didn't have to change the station just because I made a harmless little observation. I stand by my opinion. Winstead is solidly drinkable, and if given the opportunity, I would down Huntress like a shot. Every vampire's got an actor we'd train if we could. It's, you know, kind of like a celebrity crush. It's not going to happen, but still fun fancy. I mean, you can't always tell who uh, tastes good based on looks alone. Same as with human food. That's why in those uh, intense competitive cooking shows, they'll say shit like, the plating was lovely, but the bonbons were undercooked. Just because it's pretty doesn't mean it's good. 
Uh, in your case, though, you got the looks and the taste to back them up. If you're looking for things to throw, you ran out of pillows like 20 minutes ago. What? Uh, no, I just... Never mind, I thought I smelled something. Anyway, if you want me to stop rating the edibility of the people on TV, you're fighting a losing battle. It's like me putting on the Great British Bake Off and expecting you not to get some cravings. Doesn't matter what channel you choose, either. Superheroes, Property Brothers, exhausted-looking newscasters, they're all on the menu. Especially when I'm this hungry. Better get used to it, Cupcake. Your only other option is to spend the whole time we're stuck here with no television. Ah, speaking of being hungry, though. I'm thinking we should grab your snacks from the car when we head down for my stuff. That way you've got something to tide you over between now and when they start serving breakfast. I mean, I think I saw some vending machines in the hall on the way here, but I don't think a pile of candy bars is a nutritionally complete lunch. <laughs> not that that stuff in the car is much better, but uh, I'm working with what we've got. It's not like we can go grocery shopping in this weather. I should probably grab the gum, too. Might help. Oh, hey! Maybe while we're holed up here, you could turn that wooden plank into actual stakes. You know? Clear out some more space in the back. Ah, dibs on decorating them. Uh, I'm thinking I'll add some bows on the end to that little ribbon you got. Shit! Did you see how close that was? God, I think I might have struck the building. Ugh. I was looking right at it, too. Oof. I've got after images seared into my fucking eyes. Cupcake? What's wrong? Ah, uh, it did. Well, how was I supposed to know the lights went down? I can see in the dark. The room looks exactly the same to me. Not to you, though. You're totally blind, aren't you? Your phone has a flashlight, right? Just use that. Are you serious? Jesus. Uh, it's times like these I'm embarrassed to be your captive. Well, there's sure as hell ain't no charging it now. Not until the power comes back on. Honestly, it's just pure bad luck, Hunter. Any other night, you might have gotten some light from outside, but... <laughs> the storm's completely blacking out the sky. No stars, no moon, not even any streetlights now. You're completely helpless. If I weren't speaking, you'd have no idea where I am. You're trapped in a room with a vampire you can't see coming. Boo. Ah, fuck! Uh, ow! Fuck. Right. Silly me. You tend to hit things that startle you. God. My nose. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's broken, but you did elbow me in the face. Is your elbow okay? Mm. I shouldn't have done that. Mm. You smell like adrenaline now. Oh, like I needed more temptation. Stick your hands out. Relax, Hunter. I'm not going to bite your fingers off. I'm going to help you to the door. There was a fireplace in the entryway, remember? I think it was gas-powered. If we can get down there, it should be enough light for you to see by. Maybe I can sweet-talk maintenance into giving you a flashlight, too. Disgusting or not, I could really use the bag soon. This is getting... painful. Yeah, I know. Cold hands. Someone cut me off from hot meals. Up we go. Just hold on. I got you. Right. Just a little bit around the bed. Good. Okay. Straight shot to the door. 
Oh, careful. Left your shoes right here. Tripping hazard. You wanna put them on before we go? Just in case. I do realize there are some logistical problems there, yeah. Tell you what, I'm gonna let go of your hands for a second. I'm not going anywhere, just getting your boots. Okay, this is gonna be a little awkward. But I guess, uh... Put your hand on my shoulder for balance. And lift your feet one at a time. Shoulder, cupcake, that's my head. There you go. Okay, boot one. Tilt your foot down a little. There we go. Alright, other leg up. Oh, easy. You good? Guess I pushed a little hard there. My bad. Didn't mean to throw you off balance. There. Well done. I'm gonna stand up now. Give me a second and I'll get your hands again. Uh. Two steps forward. Watch your step on the threshold. Perfect. Now we're going left. Uh. We're lucky we're not on a higher floor. Navigating the stairs like this would take forever. I might have that kind of time, but I sure as hell don't have that kind of patience. We get about two steps before I'd say fuck it and just carry you. Well, I dried off as best as I could, but my clothes are still pretty damp. If I carried you right now, you'd have to change again. Though, I guess that'll be a problem anyway once we go out to the car. Are you sure I can't go on my own? Even if you stay in the lobby, you'll be right by the front doors. It's not like I'd be able to sneak off into the hotel once you see me go by. Why not? I wouldn't... Okay, yes. I can see why usually it would be a bad idea to give me the keys and send me to the car alone, but it's a mess out there, Hunter. I am not going to be able to make a break for it. If I had tried, I'd get about ten feet before the car hydroplaned and went off the fucking road. Great. Thank you. Oh, hey. The vending machines. Yes, they're definitely out of the running now, with no power. Unless you'd be okay with me prying them open and just swiping stuff. Hey, if you ask me, the real crime is the prices. I mean, shit. Two dollars and fifty cents for a candy bar? That's insane, Cupcake. Oh, ha ha. Yeah, candy bars were a nickel when I was human. Low hanging fruit hunter. You can do better than that. That was not an invitation to break out the old person jokes. I will leave you stranded here. Maybe spending a while groping blindly in the dark would make you appreciate me and my benevolent seeing eye capabilities. Yeah, we're almost there. Can you see it all yet? If it helps, I'm the fuzzy shadow directly in front of you. I did say if it helps. Never claimed it would. <laughs> Seems like you're getting some of your good humor back, by the way. Did breakfast help? Yeah. Well, you're not you when you're hungry. Or whatever the slogan is. I'm just glad you're not still pissed at me. You would have made the trip real uncomfortable if you were giving me the half-silent treatment to the whole... <laughs> uh, I take it you can see again. Jesus. Didn't have to pull your hands away like I'm a thrice-blessed cross, Hunter. A vamp might get offended. Ah, I guess we just sit and wait now. I could take advantage of my night vision to go find a staff member. But I'm guessing you don't trust me to keep my teeth to myself on the way there. Throw me the keys. I'll go get my shit. It'll be five minutes tops. Thanks. Don't go anywhere, okay? The last time I left you unsupervised, you almost got eaten by a fake gas station attendant. Let's just say I'm not ruling out the idea that this hotel could be run by vampires. You've got the luck for it. So, uh, scream if you need help, yeah? Ah. 
Uh, do not go out there. Wind's picked up since we were out on the balcony. If I weren't a vampire, I would have been blown halfway out of the state. The rain's practically coming down sideways. Here. Here's next. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh, please. I could hear it if anyone was coming. Besides, I don't care if someone sees me changing. Well, if it bothers you so much, then look away. Seriously, Hunter. Do I have to come up with all the ideas here? Ah, fuck. It's nice to be in dry clothes again. The last time I forget my shit in the car, I'll tell you that much. Alright, I'm decent. Don't know why you were so worried about me getting caught with my pants down. I'm about to be metaphorically red-handed with my hemoglobin capri-son here. <laughs> I'm not waiting any longer. It's this or a guest. If someone walks in on us, just tell them I'm goth and committing to the bit. Ugh. Oh, no. That does not get any easier. <laughs> you know, I couldn't help but notice something when I grabbed this from the cooler. Should have just let me eat Pretty Boy last night. If you knew full well, you only have two of these left. <laughs> One now. What about you some more time? I'm just saying, if this storm lasts too much longer... Hey, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just making sure you have a plan here. Exit strategies haven't been your thing, historically speaking. You haven't really done much to convince me you had more plotted out for this trip than a cooler full of blood bags, an unwilling vampire co-pilot, and a dream. Ah... <sighs> <sighs> You know, it's weird. I would have thought someone would pass this way by now. Well, reception's right over there. This is one of the only places still lit. And even if the other guests couldn't find their way down, you'd think the staff would be trying to rendezvous. You come to think of it, don't most hotels have backup generators these days? Ah. Uh. 